Hey YouTubers, welcome to my channel. It's Sue here. Today I'm going to show you a couple layouts that I just made. And But before I get to that, I just want to show you something that I find really interesting in a funny kind of way. Okay, so these thickers I bought from Marshalls and I've had them for a while. They've been in my drawer. Um, and I recently sent a rack to somebody and I was going to send these thickers and I had them with the other thickers that I sent and then I looked at them. Now do you guys notice anything? Now take a look at this side and then take a look at this side. Uh, again, take a look at this side and then take a look at this side. It's the same thing. There's no beginning of the alphabet. How weird is that? So I think it's comical. I'll probably never, ever, ever open this pack just because, I mean, really? <laughs> I, I don't know. I guess somebody has the be two of the beginning of the alphabet somewhere in this world. I don't know, but I just thought that was funny, and I wanted to share that with everybody. Um, so... I will go ahead and start with this layout. Now the 12 by 12 paper came in the, I have to think about this, April Scraptastic Kit and it is <clears throat> made by Fancy Pants and it is part of the As You Wish collection. So this, I stole this idea from Sandra from Oh Snap Gonzo. She just recently did a video on how she was using up some of her scraps. And she had this cute picture um, in the middle of her layout and she was putting all of these pieces of scrap all around it and it looked so pretty. Um, hers was um, very vibrant colors. Now, I stole that idea from her, so I want to give her credit for that, and I kind of did the same thing. Now, let me tell you, it was great using up a bunch of scraps, so if you have a lot of scraps laying around, I would suggest doing a layout or two or three like this. I know I will do more like this. So, the story is that my granddaughter put all of these necklaces on me. These are her toy um, necklaces and also a, a bracelet. And she wanted me to wear them. Now I'm on my way to work and <laughs> you know, what, what can you say, right? Uh, but anyways, um, and then she took pictures of me. So I wanted to document that. Um, I had this little bow in my stash you know, I'm trying to, I'm on a freeze, I'm on a spending freeze until the end of July, so I'm pulling all, everything out of my stash and loving it. So far, it's been, it's been two days. <laughs> so far, so good. Um, so this particular piece right here, this dark piece, is half of a Heidi Swap folder, which I also got from somebody's YouTube channel and I can't remember who it is right now but great idea so another great way to use up some stash and these particular puffy stickers as well as like all of this up here my little my little clusters that's all um, embellishments from the April Scraptastic kit I did my journaling up here on a piece of scrap paper I have my um, doily right there and then as you can see and I'll go up close I have many different pieces of scrap paper around the whole piece I'll just go slow so you can see so you know like there's there's multiple pieces and layering going on here so Sandy thank you so much for this idea and again, I will be using this idea again because I had a lot of fun doing it. Now, the second layout that I want to share is this one right here. Now, this one is totally different than the first one, 
But it actually, now that I'm thinking about it, kind of reminds me of Sandra because it's more neon colors and we know that she loves neon. So the background paper is from a paper pad, Amy Tangerine. Um, I'm trying to remember the name of it, but I don't remember the name of it right now. Um, these pieces right here are all the Heidi Swap um, where you go ahead and um, so they come white, and you put ink on, then you wipe it off, so it's the resist. And I love those. I have so much fun with those. So what I did was, is I looked at the colors, like back here, which are all nice, bright, happy colors, and I chose the green and the yellow, and I did green and yellow, and then this wood veneer right here, I used pink. And those particular inks are this right here that I got from Tuesday morning and they're American Crafts. And they are, I want to say they were called neon or bright or something like that. And it's great because, you know, it's got some really, really great colors. So it was fun using this uh, for these pieces over here. So I did that, and what else? Um, so I used a couple other pieces from this particular paper pad. I have got probably a dozen, I'd say easily a dozen, 12 by 12 paper pads that I almost never touch. So part of what I'm doing every month is making sure I use papers from those paper pads. So that's what I did here. I used three papers from this paper pad. And then I put a couple pieces of washi up here, a couple pieces of washi down there, and that's it. So I hope that you enjoyed, and let me know if you have any questions, and I will be back soon with some more. Okay, thanks so much, everybody. Have a great day.